Hello there. So I wanted to take some time to introduce, uh, you know, where the playlist is headed and what we plan on doing as part of uh, this playlist. So first off, you know, this playlist is a kind of targeted towards uh, freshers or, um, uh, you know, beginners who are trying to kind of explore a career in embedded systems, right? So embedded uh, systems. And the the playlist will kind of go from you know models, uh, models of uh, computer systems. Let me just write this down. So models of computer systems, uh, all the way to writing uh, a firmware. Right, and uh, firmware, and which will involve booting. Uh, the CPU, um, you know, from scratch. And this playlist will not use uh, any of the pre-existing tools or software. Every line of code will be written by us. Um, there would be no hidden tricks. And so we'll go from like the models of a computer system. Uh, this will involve like the CPU, the memory, uh, you know how and the interaction between them um, right uh, so how to think about those and reason about the system so we'll spend about like three to four videos covering um, these topics and what will happen is these are these are supposed to be like short videos um, and the reason these are important is um, they set like a framework of thinking and this framework of uh, thinking will become useful when we are debugging our code that is number one right so the number one is models now then we move on to the second uh you know part or second set of videos which are like uh, you know anywhere between like four to six ish and they are focused around uh, assembly language um, make based automation and linker script and the reason this is uh, important is because all of these are required to be able to boot the cpu that is number one to be able to kind of build our binary build our firmware and boot the cpu and um, the asm part here is specifically important because in the third phase we will focus our attention on the ce language um, and when we say C language, we would want to learn the C language, the components of it that embedded systems engineer use. And it becomes very simple to understand each statement in C language if we are able to see uh, the assembly behind it. Right? Uh, why use an int? Why use an float? What happens when there is a pointer involved? How does the machine code uh, look like? How does the you know C code translate to assembly? All of that. Uh, we will kind of, uh, you know, uh, use the assembly for our knowledge of assembly. And I kind of anticipate, I'm yet to record these videos, but I anticipate that these would go anywhere between, you know, 5 to 10 videos, depending on the length. Right. So we started off with models here, uh, you know, tools and assembly, uh, assembly and tools um, in the second phase. And the third phase is like completely the C language. Right. And uh, I should also mention while we are doing, uh, you know, the assembly and the tools and the linker script, there are also tools involved here, which I'll speak to in a, in a moment. So we will kind of uh, uh, learn uh, tools. And by tools, I mean the build tools, uh, build tools and something called tool chain. So tool chain is essentially the compiler and friends which help us go from c language to the machine code so we will also understand and learn about them and uh, you know all the topics that we learn are the bare basics that you would require to thrive in an embedded systems uh, software engineering career right um, or not struggle at least if not anything so right so we are going to use the second phase to kind of reason about or learn the C language in the third phase very thoroughly. And once we have done this, uh, in the fourth phase, we will go towards writing a firmware. And when we talk about the firmware, um, we have to talk about the system that the firmware will run on.
so the system that we will use for all our demos and you know debugging and all of that uh, is a software based um okay I made a mistake here so it's a software based um system or um emulator so to speak which is qemu emulator right it's an emulator now what happens is Q qemu is a software it can behave as if it is a real board uh, with the cpu on it with the memory on it and you know the interactions between them so on and so forth right and our intention is that we will deploy our firmware on this software emulation of the board uh, the, the reason for this is that it then frees the learner or you in this case from having to purchase any board we would not want you to invest your money right away uh, into any of the board and this is quite generic all of this can be learned offline um, you know with qmu and later on you can buy a board and you know try and do the same thing for that board okay so the cpu in this case then is the risk by uh, cpu and uh, that said the assembly that we will learn uh, the tools that we will learn will correspond to the risk 5 uh, line of uh, architecture and uh, the reason i have chosen risk 5 is because a lot of information is available online it's an uh, you know open isa and uh, i personally think that uh, going forward risk 5 is going to become a very popular architecture and uh, knowing a little bit about it uh, would only help right okay so what are we going to uh, do as part of the firmware so we are going to boot this uh, risk 5 cpu from scratch uh, we are going to write some assembly for it uh, obviously c code and with the c code our intention is to print print a uh, hello world on something okay hello world on something called um, the uart so uart is like a peripheral uh, it's like a hardware component typically also you know emulated here so the idea would be um, that the code here will control this peripheral so to speak a uh, hardware and as part of that hardware on the terminal uh, we will end up seeing hello world and this is pretty much kind of you know going from uh, models to writing a firmware uh, and in between here when we are trying to print the hello world we would also touch upon the idea of drivers right so the the code that controls the uart here uh, is called the driver so you go from models to assembly to tools uh, to c language all the important parts of it will cover the entire language what you should worry about what you should not worry about how to think about the language all of it and then in the final phase we will develop drivers and firmware and we will print hello world uh, through the uart and once you know this pretty much you can you know boot up uh, any other system by looking into the documentation uh, because few of the things uh, are system specific that you'll need to look up in the documentation uh, but yeah all of this is generic every embedded system enthusiast or uh, engineer should know these and it's very sad that uh, you know not not all the embedded engineers know this and uh, for those reasons i am actually putting this playlist together not only will it help pressures and beginners but those who want to kind of you know revisit the lower level concepts um, uh, under the operating system so to speak so this playlist is for that kind of an audience and with this uh, you know if there are any questions or comments leave them uh, in the comment section uh, we also have a discord server and the disc uh, the, like the disc video description has the link to it so yeah join in uh, have a chat you know let's discuss and become better together and uh, i will see you in the videos in the playlist uh, thank you bye, -bye.